come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where a movie talk show podcast comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination. <laughs> Brought to you by Malachi Cargo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, uh, well, um, I want to tell you folks at home, you good listeners who are tuning in tonight, the people tune in. I don't know. You downloaded it. Now, however you're listening to us. I like to think so. Tuning in seems Stream. Like Sounds, yep. I like yeah. if you're streaming in tonight, today, this afternoon, on Tuning your way in to, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, that's you can certain uh, things just stick, yeah. Well, hey, I mean, take the extra step, make that leap of faith, go and hit that like or subscribe button because all that stuff helps us get found by other folks, and then uh, we rise up through algorithms and we become the fastest growing podcast in the universe. Movie podcast, I mean, we, want, we don't want to be too presumptuous, okay. Stay in our lane. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> These are the internet radio superstars. Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean, what did we watch tonight? We watched Andy Sedaris's hard ticket <laughs> to Hawaii. I think that is deserved. He is a singular man, I think. This is a singular vision. It a singular I was going to say, it's a singular vision. That's yeah. for damn sure. A singular vision that he's had about 12 times. Yeah. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but a repeated singular vision. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, before I ask you the most obvious question in that title, uh, <laughs> the what hard? year well, did this come from? <laughs> uh, 1987, I believe. Okay. Who is this Andy Sidaris that you're talking about? Andy Sidaris is a oh, he's a filmmaker who started out in television. He did uh, a lot of sports directing. Um, he directed uh, ABC's Wide World of Sports for 25 years. Um, he is... The um, so after twenty five years in sports, he's like, I want to have some fun. He, well, that's <laughs> it, what it was. But while yeah. he was in sports, he's also the like originator of the the honeypot shot, which is finding the cute women in the crowd at sporting events. Oh yeah, this is a main. I am this is a yeah. This. Yeah. of yeah. mainstream <laughs> sports <laughs> broadcasting to this day. Yeah, mm -hmm. watch any ba any sports game, yep. and eventually, at some lull in the game. They'll go in the crowd cam or what have yep. you, the fan cam, as it were. Mm -hmm. It's always good looking women in the crowd. It's good yeah. stuff. He was famous for that. Mm -hmm. And he did it for so long. So I think he took that um, uh, that viewpoint and he's like, I want to make films. And I want to make <laughs> films with I want to make films with beautiful people in beautiful locations because that's all you need. And guns. And guns and bombs. Right. <laughs> yeah. What do we need? We need uh, bullets, bombs and babes, babes. slash yeah. Yeah. boobs. Yeah. 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 That Which the, became the, yeah, that's the three Bs, yes. right? Yep. <laughs> the triple Bs. The triple yep. Bs, yes. <laughs> that is what he is known for. And yeah. Hard Ticket to Hawaii was pretty much his second in that, in his oeuvre of those films. Malibu Express being the first. If you couldn't tell by the ship. <laughs> yeah. The yacht. In this one. Or in the this one. movie poster. Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. The, the reference. No, the, 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 reference. The, the dead stop explanation of what it was <laughs> yeah. in this movie. <laughs> so if you didn't know, you will know by watching this one. Yeah, because I've uh, have all I've seen Malibu Express, okay. which has a character called Cody Abilene. This one uh, has... Is this his brother? His cousin, they said. Okay. Because oh, wow. they were like, yeah, after Cody went to Hollywood and was in Malibu Express, right. yep. his brother's right. in this yep. one. That's, I, okay, that's where my brain started to break with this movie. <laughs> is that, that's where? <laughs> I mean, in, in terms of like, we know that Andy Sidaris has this like cinematic universe where there's crossover, but in his crossover... The people in this movie are also actors that acted in the movie yeah. Malibu yes. Express. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Right. So they're undercover. They're agents who take some they time also were to actors. Right, model and act is basically what I get from these people. So is there another Andy Sedaris in this universe that directed the in-universe Malibu Express? I think Express? it's the sports how, guy that Andy Sedaris <laughs> plays in this how movie. How deep do these nesting dolls go? Where Ahead does it of his end? time? That's all I'm hearing yeah. from you right now. Yeah, I mean, well, how did you... Uh, I drew uh, this movie walked so Tenet could run, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I think... Well, Ron Moss from TV's The Bold and Beautiful, it says on the back of this, which he looked familiar. I'm like, <laughs> I've seen this man. Yes. 
<laughs> We're gonna make Michaela's for this movie. Out. This movie's got us on ten tonight, man. We just like, it's like a B twelve shot to our brains right Basically, now. Yeah. <laughs> One of the bees. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He did. There was a long spiel about vitamins, and he mentioned <laughs> super B complex. There was so. a vitamin rundown. It's <laughs> a vitamin, a lengthy vitamin rundown. As someone who takes like a million vitamins a day, he's not wrong. Well, right. <laughs> but the way he was yeah. saying it, it was like he was oh, trying yeah. to pitch you and to sign up. Like, are you to be them? his yeah. downline in his MLM? Right. You yeah, know, that was yeah. like that guy had clearly somebody had like looked all this stuff up. What was his name? Jefferson, Jimmy, Jimmy John Jackson, or something. Jimmy John like Jackson, Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy John Jackson. I think it was, think yeah, so, yeah, something like that. It was yeah. a sportscaster who shows up in the movie? Sports, uh, you know, uh, and uh, Jim, covering uh, the football pro- camp up in co- Hawaii, covering apparently. professional football meetings. Yeah, yes. that's what it was called, professional yes. football meetings. This yep. movie is all over the map, <laughs> Which, all sorry. over the map of Hawaii. Yeah, I was discussing it is going to be. I mean, <laughs> crazy and all over the place because Buck, this movie is know, hard to follow. Buckle up, babies. This yeah, is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a hard well, to how, get to how did you uh, first come by the cinematic uh, oeuvre of <laughs> Andy Sidaris? Can uh, we even say that? I mean, come on. Like, this guy ended up... Most of his movies were, well, on video. I think a lot of folks saw him on video because yeah. they had these really cool painted covers. It, right. It feels like something I would see at the VHS rental store yes. inside the grocery store. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they sure. were the, the one For inside sure. the grocery store would I have these those. weird titles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I miss yeah. those. Because he did movies like, uh, well, we said Malibu Express, but also Savage Beach, which you might have right. seen. Right. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, uh, Picasso Trigger. Picasso Trigger, yes. Uh, Guns. Gun. It's just called guns. Yes, that was my favorite. It's just guns. <laughs> There's the lethal ladies. Uh, from Savage yep. Beach Two. Lethal is uh, a uh, what you call it? Acronym. An acronym for something. For the I legion. Forgot. Of course it is. Of what? It, it's the oh, legion oh of. Uh, oh man. Uh, oh, man, we need to know this because this is good. He hadn't come up with the acronym at this point, but basically no. he is building the idea that like they're all agents, right? These are c- spy mm-hmm. kind of uh, action movies yeah. that are all around these hot girls who are part of like this. Uh, well, I mean, there's also guys who are part of this uh, f- like special fighting force mm-hmm. called Lethal. Later, it's called Lethal. Right. It's very, oh, man. it's, it's very late night Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Legion of God damn it. Yeah, because this it? movie is very soft core porny. Oh, for sure. Well, I mean, that's like part of his because you know, if you didn't catch these movies in the video store, then it was probably USA Up All Night or Cinemax, uh late night Cinemax, the Skinemax. This is yeah. like, because that is basically the idea. If uh, Andy Sidaris is gonna get like all these so all the girls who are in them are uh Playboy playmates. Uh, penthouse pets. Yes, that mm-hmm. he recruited models. Um, yeah, but and he's but athletic models. That's what he was going for. That was his thing. He like he wanted to sh- he wanted these women to show off, or he wanted to show off the women. Let's mm-hmm. say that. Yeah, because he was going for beautiful, uh, athletic, and pretty much down to do uh, you know whatever. Yeah, but it's they're not like it's not like it's like super sexy. They're just no. and it's mostly they're like just, just naked doing everything. It is just but there are no sex scenes. It's naked kissing. They're mostly yeah. just topless. It's yeah. like it's not even like full body yeah. nakedness. It's right? just mm-hmm. like they're they're topless during exposition scenes. They yep. invented that before Game of Thrones did. How do you make <laughs> someone interested in people talking about like look what I found on this model helicopter? You have yeah. do it. I found yeah. a mini briefcase of diamonds. Yeah, you have them do it in a jacuzzi topless. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And yeah. and just the the, the love scenes in this. I love the stage. The staging <laughs> yeah. is always. I need we the need listeners. You to kiss, but everyone no. needs to be facing the camera. The listeners yeah. need to know that you used air quotes just now. Yeah. For yeah. love yeah. scene. I mean, I feel like there was a lot of love in these scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Holly disagrees. I, <laughs> he finds a way to get boobs in every shot, man. Every yeah. shot, whether it's over someone's shoulder in the background, whatever. There is <laughs> yeah. boobs in every shot. I was actually yeah. kind of surprised because I think this has less than Savage Beach does. Maybe on a par. It might be on a par. I'm with, just uh, assuming it's a full beach, full of topless women. No, no, yeah. no. It's a spy movie. Like that's the thing about them. They feel like you know. It's it's strange. Like. As Sean's joking during the movie, he's like, this is like a real movie, man. Because <laughs> uh, there is like this kind of lack of self-awareness, mm. but also he's In so aware yes. of, you know, like, okay, this is goofy. His actors... He's also aware people people love beautiful women, uh, action, explosions, like... 
model. He's, uh, he, right. He's RC. unaware of the other stuff, but he's aware of those things. Yeah, yeah. I feel like specifically I, and maybe I, only. I feel like he's like, I really want to do a spy movie, but I know this is all I'm going to do. So I'm going to get it as spy as I can, but it's still going to be trash. But they name check James Bond so, so much. much. And it's like, don't draw the comparison. Just, Just don't. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what he's, that's his attitude. That's what he thinks. He's like, I don't see any difference between a James Bond exactly. movie and my movie. Oh, and come like, on. That, that is the attitude, whether he's uh, fooling himself or not. It's his attitude straight on. Are you like that's, yeah. that's it. I bet you like, he that thinks- That is the seriousness he brings to these things. I think he probably thinks he's improving upon James Bond because there's more nudity in these than there is in a James he, he Bond knows movie. He probably he, thinks there's not enough nudity in James I Bond. I mean, I think so. <laughs> but he also he acknowledges like he I he I think he knows exactly what he is. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, a, yeah he's yeah. very aware of the product he makes and mm-hmm. uh, I think his I think uh, how intro- other people view him. I think the intro made that clear. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. This movie had an introduction. Yeah, because we watched by the uh, director. Yeah, yes. Mill Creek Blu-ray. Yeah, he had uh, Julie Strain yes. on it. Uh, Colin, how did you know who she was? Because she's famous for she's married to the guy who like created Kevin the Eastman. teenage. She's married Ninja to Kevin Turtles, Eastman, and then he bought the heavy metal, and really? she's in Heavy Metal 2000, and she is in a lot of uh, heavy metal she, stars right. movies. After I was like, these. I don't understand yes. the connection yeah, between yeah, these no, no, two. She's she's in yeah, she did the later one. Part of yes. the Lethal Ladies. Did yes. you look that up? It's like the. I lead tried. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. Har- something Harmony and Law. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Holly, see if you can find it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was not having a good time. Um, yeah. Um, do we also say that Andy Sidaris was like the first guy when he was doing uh, Wild, Wild World of Sports? He was like the first guy to actually put like cameras on the field. That was like oh, part yeah? of it. Like he invented huh. that. That and the honeypot shot. Um, he died. Uh, yeah, yeah. After I think he made about twelve movies in the series that they I don't think they started out being like in a series, but you know no, but that's how he sells them now. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And the, his website is run by his wife Arlene, yep. and she produced all of them, and she yep. keeps his uh, you know estate going. Yeah, and she had like as a producing partner, she had the same attitude he does. It's like I don't see why we can't make these movies and just have beautiful naked bodies. Yeah, because it makes Very money. That's the they're like money. these are ching, business ching, people. Ching, 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 ching. But did this movie make money? Yeah, I mean, we'll find out. Sean, do you he, know? <laughs> he made. I mean, if he made this is the second one of the twi- of like, twelve. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This just in. <laughs> Lethal Legion to ensure total harmony and law. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there we go. Not, not ladies to ensure, it's Legion to ensure. No, they became right. the Lethal yeah. Ladies. Lethal yeah. Ladies, yeah. 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 Legion, yeah. Legion to ensure total harmony and law. There you go. Which means you have to have a specter, but you know, because uh, that first one, Malibu Express, Express kind of play, plays like a cross between. Dukes of Hazard and Magnum PI. Yeah. So this one's <laughs> leaning into like I don't know. Th- she references James Bond a lot. A lot. But the uh, the the uniforms that they were the Daisy Dukes with the cowboy boots. I was like, well, this is totally Dukes of Hazard mm-hmm. right here. Yeah. Like completely cut off safari outfits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no technical budget or box office for these things. Of course not. Yeah. I think most of Shopping. that is kept under the table yeah. yeah or just like this movie well, might money, be a money laundering well, scheme. money flows from here to there we put money into these yeah i yeah. think it's not exactly a i mean above board i don't know i'm guessing but he had enough to keep it going yeah to and have Joe, like I a mean, career doing this th- like a post career this is like his retirement career whatever like right yeah. well donna spear did a interview with uh joe bob at one point long time ago probably around this i think around the time this movie came out they did a lot of heavy promotion for it and he made an off-handed comment about and he's very rich so he had money before i mean again he's been directing abc sports for yeah, yeah. 25 years he has money so so you mentioned donna spear who's she she is a playboy playmate who has been march 1984 oh jesus Christ. jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> who was in so malibu quick on that. <laughs> i might be wrong <laughs> in malibu express and uh and i think like nine other of his yeah, she worked with a him of- a lot Mm-hmm. She likes working with him, and I think she mentioned also in uh, an interview um, her experience on the first one. I think she said she was very drunk during the making of Malibu Express for most of it. <laughs> I feel like you'd have to be right, but mm-hmm. because of Andy Sidaris, um, he helped her get sober and continued to work in these movies. Oh, and she that's nice. credits that's nice. him with helping her get. Uh, sober and continue on that's, with her career. That's really great. Yeah, because that, that's what she does now, I think, mm-hmm. right? She uh, had a self-help book or something like that on yeah. getting sober oh, and all this stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Yeah. No, like, that's stuff. really great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, 
I guess that's the thing. It's like you're like, okay, it's a cast of you know Playboy Playmates and whatever. So you're like, okay, so what? You know, obviously that's going to be the draw. But I guess watching this, and maybe it goes to that, like you know, we're talking about like this kind of non self aware kind of thing. It's mm. like it is kind of earnest in a way. Like yes. they're not stupid characters. You know, they're not like throw off as like you know, like Julie Strain came off in that intro, which was like, oh god, is this what we're in for? There is more of that, and it's <laughs> impossible. Um, but you continue. But yes. I mean, like the characters that the girls are playing are like, okay, well, they are secret agents. They're right. just as good as the guys. Sometimes they're more like uh, they're more prominent. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're better shots. They're I, yeah. But I think that's the thing going forward. Like, I think Malibu Express, the guy, was more at the center of the mm-hmm. movie. Uh, and then he realized that like, you know, you can, you know, mm-hmm. the, the success yeah. of hard ticket to Hawaii, it's like, just put the girls front and center. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's like, these are going to be the stars. Um, okay. But this intro, I feel like we're glossing well, over the weirdness because no, it sets the stage. people probably haven't seen the intro. Okay. Oh, but this other. really sets the tone for what you're dealing with. Yeah. It is like a handheld camcorder of Andy Sedaris, I assume in his home. Yes. And Julie Strain in this WCW cutout <laughs> American leotard. Flag, uh, <laughs> like, it just barely there. covers her nipples, yeah. and, like, it's this, got a thong back on it. This, it is, yeah. This intro was cut out of a 45-minute behind-the-scenes featurette Of course it part, was. Naturally. And at a certain point, she just loses the top. Nope, There's no explanation. The camera comes back to her after two seconds, and she is topless. Doesn't surprise so. me. She's sitting at a bar stool. Right. Looks very uncomfortable. Yep. Does. Um, yep. And... <laughs> he's holding up what is it back like the back of a VHS tape that has all of his movies or a book it's like or something a, it's like a flyer it's yeah like a magazine, with all of his Sedaris movies collection yes he has her count them out loud and she does not count them correctly and then he does like a close up on a printout of his poster that he has it, and it's bizarre man. It's, he's a salesman it's like you know when you go to AMC and they're like hey it's M. Night Shyamalan or whatever thanks for coming out to the movies you know how they used to do those it's like that this is but the R-rated version of that yeah. done at home it's like hucksterism yeah. this is yeah. the kind of thing that like um, you know like Charles Band or something yeah exactly yeah. you know would be a, you know I guess that's the thing it's like the, that opening felt like uh, and this is again this is an intro that's on the blu-ray and so like you yeah. folks at home who have seen this movie haven't seen, haven't seen this but it you know presents her like she's the bimbo who's kind of yeah. like yeah. the booth babe who's going to introduce this mm-hmm. thing and i was like this is this feels like a jim winorski <laughs> like this and but that's a difference i think like you know the jim winorski version of this movie would have a bunch of like it would airheads be- running around right, yes right mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying that the characters are that intelligent, but that's because of the writing, right? Right. Mm-hmm. The right. Writing in this mm-hmm. movie is daffy. Four to yeah. five so. days, he says, he takes to write these movies. <laughs> and then he hands them over right. to his producer, and he said, she turns them into English. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, all right, all right. That is the construction of these movies. <laughs> yeah. But I guess that's what I'm say- getting at, is that yes. they're not necessarily presented as, like, you know, airhead bimbos running right. around. It's like, they all have stuff to do. We just can't oh. figure out what that is but that's the plotting everyone <laughs> right. in this movie is the best at whatever they decide they need to do oh yeah oh do we need a skill for this scene well get, i just happen to be the best person in the world at it that's how every scene goes because they're secret agents yep. that's why you follow they're these people that's everything. why this movie's made about yep. them they are the best mm-hmm. yeah who's the other uh so there's there's two i mean trying to explain the plot <sighs> of this movie is going to be like the world's Hope marie carlton yeah. she's the newcomer i believe this is her debut okay and she's also i think a playboy playmate yes mm-hmm. okay and she was also in several of these movies because yeah. I think uh, both of them are in Savage Beach, which is the one after that. I'm sorry, that's as far as I've gotten so far. So I know that <laughs> no, you you haven't. they okay. might be in Picasso Trigger and right. the, the, the ones that... The Picasso sub- Trigger. Fit to maybe kill. in Guns. Fit to Kill? Anyone? Anyone? Fit to okay. Kill. J- uh, do It. I think one is just called Do It. <laughs> There's one <laughs> called Seven. <Why> <laughs> and yep. I was like, that's... Or Do, do or yeah. Do. Uh, something, yeah. Do or die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is this kind of like, because uh, we watched a movie, um, remember when we, it was Night Claws, right? And yeah. we were talking about David, the director, David Pryor. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so it feels like there's a lot of crossover there, but like Andy Sidaris is the king of this yes. stuff. Yeah. It feels People like. People look at Andy Sidaris and then make their own Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, but you're looking at a movie that's kind of on the level of well, it's a step up above Samurai Cop. Yeah, it's or more comp- it's more ki- competent for sure. made than Samurai Cop. Oh, absolutely. 
you know, there's no wig issues. And like, you know, <laughs> there well, are. Yeah, so there are stunts that come like a, yes. a jeep and a plane flying yeah. over. There's yeah, like, yeah. there's together. actual like legit editing. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Samurai Cop yeah. had no editing. No, it's yeah. like there's logistics going on yeah. in yeah. this movie. Things Something were planned. Like they yeah. had a plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They had to, yeah. otherwise you know they'd be crashing planes all over the place. Well, that's so. it. that's Samurai Cop. Yeah, that's that movie. That's but see, no plan. Some of our audience might be listening here and then going like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But I mean, those movies are entertaining because they're bad like then what you know if this is more the more competent version you know then you're getting towards like uh, yeah, uh I mean, never I'm, too young to die yeah, or something uh, it's like i'm sorry we said more competent right not, not, not you have to look competent. at the scale colin more competent can mean many yeah. things yeah. more competent than samurai cops not a not a very high bar right you know? <laughs> like being the smartest kid with down syndrome as okay. they say yeah so who are these two agents of well they're not agents of lethal yet no not yet okay but we know that uh donna spear is like Okay, so I didn't even know that they were agents. I thought that maybe they were wildlife uh, rangers or something. Right. Why would you think they that are? No, aren't they? No, they're. What are they? They're agents. <laughs> yeah, they're all right. They're, 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 they're in like the not the like the DEA, but they're in like the the, sh- the shipping and and uh, I, I wouldn't know how ATF? to describe it. Probably yeah, like ATF. Is yeah. it's like it's a very. <laughs> Freelance, yeah, yeah because they're pilots. they're pilots. They run that plane. Yeah, that's sure. what they do. That's their cover because yeah. <laughs> because uh, uh, Taryn, played by Hope Marine Carlson, has just been added to like uh, the the crew, the two woman right. crew on this island, right? Because she talks a lot about how she has, uh, you know, this is her new identity, you know, because right. she was something. Because she's a big James Bond fan. That's why she got into this. Yeah, but isn't she a civilian? So maybe she witnessed something. Maybe she's not an agent yet. I don't know where Uh, we're going. And she's in training. That's why she's following Donna Spear around. Okay. There we go. We'll go with that. Sure. Yeah, but you don't like it. I like it. Otherwise. I don't want to question it anymore. Let's go on. Let's go. (laughs) Okay. We got a lot to talk about. I know. On this island where they uh, apply their trade, there is a. there's drug dealing going on. There's uh, guys growing uh, like oh weed, there's my God, weed I farmers. About this. Yes, right, yeah, right. But really, the hardest working weed farmers I've ever seen. Yeah. Those, those weren't imagine. the weed farmers. No, they uh, weren't. Who are they? We never get to see the weed farmers. Uh, yeah, that was the 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 mob the, moving in and yeah. taking their okay. shit. Yeah. yeah, they were just like this peaceful little farm that so, okay. that so they went and strip mined them basically. And took yeah, yeah, shit. okay, yeah. They were yeah. just peaceful farmers. But then yeah. these two cops like stumble on it. They're, the cops are like, you know, have this laissez faire. Yeah, attitude and they're like, look, I we, love them. They're like, look, we come once a year, we make them pay a fine, and then we leave them alone because they do really well for the economy of the island. Yeah. Right. Like, yep. Yes, I like it. Yeah. I'm on board. But on this year's check, they discover a new group of people hacking down all those gigantic weed plants, and mm-hmm. one of them has shades. He's later called. Shades. Shades. <laughs> because he has giant mirrored sunglasses. And the awesome thing about every time that we see him oh, is that Jesus Christ. the camera has to shoot him low so they don't reflect the camera in the sunglasses. So we're constantly looking up this guy's nose. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not yeah. trimmed. No. no. It's it's not not nose no. hair is a plenty. Yeah. And he has a crazy mustache, too. That, did he? No. Yeah. He didn't no, have a mustache. I you just, he had a you just thought his nose hairs was a mustache. <laughs> That's, That's probably what it was. They were coming That's right at you. It they were. It was like 3D. Yeah. 3D nose hairs. Like by golly, he throws a mean frisbee. He, 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 he sure did, does. He did some trick, some trick throws there. He did. Yeah. He did one. The, oh, under the one, leg trick throw. He did throw? one trick yeah. throw multiple times. Yeah. yeah. Well, but that's more than I can do. <laughs> okay. So I think you could do it. I'll give you more credit than <laughs> this guy. You, I think Sean. you could do it, Holly. I appreciate that. No problem. Let me ask you this. Cause it's the least I could do. <laughs> when a pivotal moment occurs later in this film involving a frisbee mm-hmm. i'm like i think i've seen a meme of this or a gif yes. or something yeah. okay I have so seen the gif this might this. be famous because at some point he plays frisbee with a razor a frisbee. death frisbee the yeah. death yeah. frisbee it's a death frisbee the it's government phrase frisbee. frisbee i think it were told yeah. right or you yeah. said it was the government i said frisbee. it because they're sitting there with all their arsenal of like all these weapons and in the middle of them is a black frisbee i was like it's a government frisbee yeah, yeah. like government issue frisbee <laughs> yeah <laughs> And they he's a guard this. at some point, like later on, guarding the you know drug dealers' hideout. And uh, one of our heroes, I really would have loved a moment when he was like, "Well, it's a good thing I'm here. It just so happens I'm a champion frisbee golf right? player." Right? Yeah, like that I would not be it. out of place. Why? I know. Movie. Why was there not like a frisbee championship tournament right. happening? Thank you. <laughs> why was the Why was the sports guy not covering the frog yeah. tournament? <laughs> it, okay, take why? out the football. Did it, wait, did it exist then? I don't know. I don't you, know. You take out the football. 
pro conference and you replace it with the Frisbee International right, Tournament. It makes more sense. And but if you do that, you get one of the greatest jokes out of this movie that this movie has. So I don't. You got to stick with the football players. I know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But <laughs> then, like that joke. But then they could go undercover as like a Frisbee team or something <laughs> into this tournament. They, there's that's is that not in one of the sequels? <laughs> undercover at a Frisbee tournament. Yeah. Oh my god. That, this, that it seems works. like it makes it too work. much sense. But this yeah, movie I mean, is fair presented point, in just kind of a scatter shot way yes, where yeah. there's just scenes and shit that happens out of nowhere and you're like <laughs> now we're gonna have a diatribe about like why you need to take all of these uh, vitamins right uh <laughs> i'm just saying it was the most relatable part of the movie okay all right <laughs> then then there's a, a death frisbee that's thrown and whacks this guy's fingers off as he fingers. tries to catch yeah. him in and it catches him in the neck like yeah. the jugular he's gone Sean, a death frisbee do you want to talk about the football scene then since you said that was one of your favorite parts the football conference oh man uh, yeah, because I mean, just throw it in here. Cause, yeah, like, you might as well. Because well, I don't know when it happens. Yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, Andy Sedaris has a, uh, a very lengthy cameo. He has a part in this movie. Yeah, yeah he, he does. Is, uh, he's Whitey, the local TV director, the sports TV director. Mm -hmm. um, he's directing John Jimmy Jacks or whatever his sports <laughs> yeah. guy Jimmy is. Jimmy John Jackson. Yeah, Jimmy John Jackson. As he's interviewing a couple football players. Um, and why we're sticking with these? I think it's only to make this joke. It, it, it is. It be. absolutely is. I keep building it up, which I can't say. So <laughs> you have to watch the movie. You got to yeah, watch the movie, yeah. but it's we are not allowed to say that. I'm joke. Not, no, I can't no. say that joke. But it's <laughs> it's got to be the only reason that scene's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm sorry to let you down, <laughs> yeah. listener, but you got to watch the movie to hear the joke. And then, like, it turns out that they were drunk, I guess. But then we never come back to this. It's but not it's, important. But it it's a nothing. joke on the. It's a joke on the dude from yeah. the guy who runs Edie's restaurant. Yeah. They played a joke on him. What? To ruin his yeah. career? Did you not what? see yeah. Yeah. They were supposed, about The football your... players were supposed to be drinking Shirley Shirley Temples, Temples and they were drunk. They yeah. were drinking actual alcohol. Yep. So they were drunk. So that's yeah. why they made jokes that we can't say. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is because Edie's restaurant is run by a friendly to the, the agents, yes. right? Were you guys expecting her to be an old lady? Because I was. Yeah. But she's another player. Like a matriarch playmate. of <laughs> right, like, like the, the older spot. Yeah. She's yeah. Like, exactly. Come on in, ladies. Okay. Like, I understand that. Like super glamour. Yes. Lots of jewelry. Yes. Right. Because yeah. like, she's got a button on a wall that turns and there's an arsenal in a yeah. room that they get geared up. Constantly smoking. Yes. Yes. I yes. thought they were going to have to like go through a beaded curtain in a back room filled with incense to meet her. And yes. it's like, oh no, she's just like another 20 something lady in this family. And I was a little like, oh. Yeah, who owns this restaurant? I wanted, yeah. a, I wanted a matriarch. Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought we were going to get. But it's a beachside restaurant and all that. It's not a, you know, it's not a. Monte Carlo Casino. Where Seth has but they a act corner like table. it is. <laughs> yeah. Who's Seth? Seth is our not the big boss, but the boss right below it. The mini boss. The mini boss. Okay, but he's the, basically the villain of the movie. Yes. Seth uh, Romero, Seth. who Seth. I believe is the yeah. So he's like the kingpin drug dealer who's moving in on these other drug dealers. Yes. Right. And so there's a, a so how our team of agents gets involved in this scheme is because the big bad guy, which mm -hmm. is this British guy who looks like a magician. He looks like a boat magician because he's got like a nautical right. outfit on, but has like a magician baton. He's a captain yeah. of the yacht that yes. we see, right? Because right? yep. this is the thing. Andy Sidaris gets access to a guy with a yacht, a hotel, a bar. Uh, helicopters you know, helicopters these are all people he knows yeah by these the way. are this people, is yeah, just, yeah, yeah. people he's met over the years he's just that's all, why yeah. i love it because he it's just cashes like, in his favors yeah. to make Genius. these yeah. yeah we're just gonna make it oh, your, your hotel is gonna be in my movie you know it's like right, you'll have beautiful your... women running around we'll give you free advertising for the molokai everything mm -hmm. there's gonna be explosions <laughs> yeah you know mm -hmm. and everybody goes like but sign me up this is gonna be great andy i can't wait to see it um but the way that our team gets involved in these shenanigans is because... A shipping accident? Yeah, because... This now, is like the, uh, the oh, rat bringing uh, Ant-Man back in the... Uh, just this is the stands. craziest <laughs> thing, because Mr. Chen, who is our boat yacht magician, old, right, yeah. who's an old British guy... <laughs> yeah, yeah. A Mr. British Chen, father yeah. and a Chinese mother, yes. Yeah. He, oh, I forgot we got that backstory. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to uh, deliver diamonds i think in exchange for the drugs right so yeah. seth has the drugs yes he trades the drugs for the diamonds and the way they do this is they have a pickup in a field where mr chen from his yacht launches a remote control helicopter yes. i don't see a problem with this with little tiny uh like suitcases on board <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like model suitcases they really are that carry the diamonds and so he flies it to the drop-off point but guess what? It just so happens that Donna 
and Taryn happen to be there mm -hmm. when the, the helicopter lands and intercept the drug deal. And so they end up in possession of at least one of the diamonds, but one of the diamond packages. But mm -hmm. another one gets away and falls into the, the brush. Mm -hmm. I hope. And this starts the whole plot of the movie. I hope eight movies later somebody finds that thing in the bushes and just picks up like, hey, diamonds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Right in this connected universe. Yeah, that right. they have. Yeah. Well, they say at the end that she, well, they imply that she's going to go back and get them. Yep. Uh, right. 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 Yeah. And she does play the same character in the next six movies. So who knows? <laughs> Maybe they do. Yeah, and would it surprise you to know that there's more cousins of the Abilene show up? All the of dudes, course. all the dudes in the movie are Abilene. Okay, they're all cousins. Yeah, yeah. The cousin universe. They're all related. Yeah, um, family business. If you will. <laughs> um, so this is going to trigger like a whole bunch of the bad guys want the diamonds back. Right. The they get attacked right there. Uh, this is the first appearance of throwing stars in the movie. Well, I mean, because why not? Yeah, I forgot they, that happened. Yeah, because our... our uh, <laughs> yeah, there's our, a lot you probably yeah, forgot. Oh, yeah. this. We're not yes. even going to touch on most of the madness so in I this was, movie. I was really questioning why they were wearing short shorts with cowboy boots until I wasn't. she pulled a throwing star <laughs> from the boots. I was like, right. now it all makes sense. Yep. Like, without hesitation. Like, <laughs> yeah, these people yeah. showed up. Well, these she the had same nunchucks before that. She did. She always carried nunchucks. Um, but these are, like, the two guys that I believe um, killed the cops. Uh, the cops who were going to the the, the <laughs> yep. small settlement for the weed and everything, they got yeah. strung up in a trap. Yep. It was a booby trap. <laughs> and then they got executed yeah, by these two brutal. guys who later find the girls and attack them because they think they have the diamonds. Yeah. And they yeah. get a shooting star in the shoulder, which he never recovers from. Because he's constantly <laughs> holding his shoulder for the rest of the movie. That's how we know that's you'll, the guy. You'll be yeah. shocked to know that one of those bad guys, his name was Earring. Oh. oh. <laughs> Why, Holly? <laughs> because he had a skeleton earring. Beautiful. <laughs> That's, That's it. That's know. it. Yep. Is this, I, and not, I'm not a skull. Whole a, skull. a whole dangly <laughs> skeleton. I had a keychain like that once. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> Is this the part where we cut to the karate fighting on a yacht? Well, we have to establish, right? We At least have. because if you're setting up. Well, I mean, there's just. Okay, it's the 80s. And in oh, the eighties, okay. not only did you Everything have big, is now. big poofy hair, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you also had ninjas. Yep. And mm -hmm. nobody everyone loves, loved karate. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they yep. love karate. Hey, and ninjas. that still stands. Goddamn. Yeah, I know. I think it does. <laughs> we need to bring this back. But just random nunchuck use in movies. But then they stopped doing that. Proper because, nunchuck use. Yeah, though. but like kids would actually use nunchucks and hurt each other, and so then they ban nunchucks, and right. so you can't use nunchucks in movies because like people. We'll just put might, guns in movies instead. That'll yeah, be exactly. better, right? Yeah. That's a better way to go yep. about it. Let's bring but back nunchucks. Later, yeah. during the climactic face-off with Mr. Chen, there's, uh, well, first of all, you have to fight through his uh, karate bodyguards, but yes. then you also have, he picks up a samurai sword. I mean, this is just, you know, <laughs> what right, you do. Right. We're getting ahead of ourselves. I think we're getting, yeah. ahead of we're getting ahead of ourselves. But these two, okay, I cannot remember anybody's fucking name in that's this fine. Yeah. These two I, I dudes that are flirt fighting on the a yacht. Piece of clothing they have. Oh, that's <laughs> Rowdy, Rowdy Abilene, our Rowdy. Uh, our. Our hero. Yes. Rowdy, yeah. Is this <laughs> okay, our introduction you know to him? Yes. Yeah. I he's say don't call him the hero. I know. Even I though he's on the poster. That's this is our, our, it's our uh, movie. It's yeah. a movie. Rowdy and Side Braid. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot he his He looks name. like Terry from the Karate Kid 3. <laughs> he does look like Terry. Terry Silver. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Terry Silver. Rowdy with and a side, braid. A side Braid are yes. living the best life ever. They're flirt karate fighting on yes. a yacht yeah. and then they get sushi <laughs> delivered. Right. But I'm it, not seeing a problem. I mean, it's but not, is it sushi, Michaela? It's, it's a sad, Explain it's a, this next it's three a minutes. It's a sad sandwich. It is a, it is a, it is a lettuce sandwich it's on white bread. It's a fire fest sandwich. It is a fire fest sandwich with a note on it that we don't know what it says because they immediately well, light it's on fire. Well, it's obviously, if you choose to accept it, this mission. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. This is the mission impossible. Yeah. Burn, and Obama says, burn this will not self-destruct, yeah. but you should burn, burn this. Burn after reading. Yeah. I like that he was like, but I was hungry. I was like, dude, at work, right? He was so disappointed. He's like, man, I'm wish there had been a spring yeah. roll in there. And I was yeah. like, dude, I hear you. Like, I get it. <laughs> right? I'd be disappointed too. Like, yeah. Sushi. I'm just saying this, this way of life sounds pretty exciting. I want to just hang Their out. Their life seems pretty dope. Hang out with your right. best friend on a yacht. Yeah. yeah. Wait for missions. Doing karate. Yeah. And yeah. Actually, this sounds yeah. like an episode of It's Always Sunny. <laughs> yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it Waiting does. for missions. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. I just want to point out that we're 30 minutes into this podcast. <laughs> we haven't even... <laughs> have we started the movie yet? No. So... The but this is okay. we haven't talked about the snake at all. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, yeah. Out of left yeah. field, right? There's a B plot in this movie that I thought was maybe the A plot, but it's not. But it pays off. There is a snake 
What being, kind of snake, Colin? It's uh, it's like a giant boa constrictor. So it's yeah. a live snake. But it's contaminated. Oh, it's there contaminated. we go. A live a contaminated. contaminated snake. With what? We don't know. No, they say. No, we they know. Do. We know. It's contaminated with the toxins from For cancerous inf- rats. Cancer, cancer infested, infested rats. rats. They were the exact Okay. Yeah. And, All right. it, and it will <laughs> self-destruct in 36 hours. <laughs> so why, why are we transporting it all if it's just going to die within 36 right, hours? Right, they were taking so why- it to like the health department yeah. or something well, to, like, yeah, to, quor- to well or to quarantine until it yeah. dies and then properly dispose yeah, of it. Yeah, not to be confused with the other snake that's supposed to go to the wildlife preserve. Right. Don't con- right. don't confuse those. But yeah. that actually but they do get confused. Oh no. And so our <laughs> There's agents, a warehouse mix up. <laughs> yep. Warehouse mix up happens with our agents Donna and Taryn and they end up taking the contaminated snake mm. On their plane. Yes. With and the newlywed it- couple. <laughs> right. <laughs> I love when I see a new thing, Andrew Collins' brain is like, right, yeah, that happened. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> happened. I'm like, well, then I'm like, okay, so where does that plot end up? <laughs> yeah. Well, wait, yeah. the, this, this gives us an opportunity to, uh, because it's the 80s and you have to have a, a montage where you're flying your plane over the scenic views, yep. the beautiful scenery of... And- Hawaii. And how do you make that scenery better, Colin? I think you got to have a theme song. Oh, you got to have a theme the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't just be like, Sean. They have a theme song and then yeah. look at me to yeah. sing. Sean. <laughs> Sean's been practicing this one. How's that theme song go, Sean? I don't Sean? think I can get that high. He's like, it's a hard <laughs> ticket. <laughs> To, to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, what, what do we say? Toto. Toto. It sounds like it's Toto. 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 It's very Toto. Like well, Weezer yeah. should I, cover this but song. But I feel like you're doing Toto a slight disservice. Toto's better. Well, this is like someone trying to imitate Toto. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yes, but, yes. you know, okay, yeah. but yeah, but I agree. I mean, I for me, it's, it's right on the same yeah, level. Yeah. It sounds like Toto when we're looking at all this beautiful scenery, yeah. but it's like the lyrics are something like, it's a hard ticket to Hawaii. It's not paradise. All, all the, the time. time. Right. But you it know, looks like, like it. What? Like, but it kind of looks it like looks it. It looks like it's paradise. There's all a time. waterfall, bitch. <laughs> um, you, uh, this is like, you have to have this. If you do, a, uh, like, this is a requirement. I think this is yes. an automatic yeah. one star right there for having oh, yeah. automatic the theme upgrade. song. Yep. Yep. If you we, have, we said it before, like, in the first five minutes of the movie, we're like, well, I hope this <laughs> yeah. has a hard ticket to Hawaii theme song. What if it had two, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> is that two star upgrade? What? <laughs> Does this movie have two columns? How'd the second one go? It's a hard ticket to it's a it's a it's hard ticket. It's a hard ticket. It's a, just it. hard ticket. A hard yeah, ticket. it's a hard ticket. I don't remember that one as much. Yeah. I went yeah. back and listened to the first one because I like <laughs> no. that one better. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um But so neither get... one of them are like rocking theme songs. No, no, they're not. They're very Toto level. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. This, but this is like the this is kind of it's the it has the ambience of this movie. Like yep. this is the the Andy Sidaris like worldview. This is yeah, he doesn't it's, like hard rock. Everything about it is soft core. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's no dragon sound from uh-huh. Miami Connection. They're, yeah. they're not partying that hard. Mm-hmm. It's a yacht rock, yeah. So there's this snake. Okay. <laughs> this Contaminated snake, snake. Yeah, it's so it's this giant rubber snake. To call it animatronic is too... It's a puppet. Uh, it's a puppet. It's, yeah, it is. It is. Someone's a got puppet their hand in that it. That somebody's puppet. pulling around and whatever, and we get close-ups of it where it has, like, goo on its uh, fangs mm-hmm. and... And it gets and it's loose. Got like, it, it's got like bloodshot eyes. It's like a, it's strung out. This yeah. is a strung out yeah. snake. He's going to die in 36 yeah, hours. Yeah, this is a strung out snake. <laughs> and it gets loose on uh, the property. Wait, is this, when did Escape from New York come out? <laughs> An infected snake that's uh, going to die in? 81. So this okay. Is, yeah. Well, I mean, well, maybe, yep, maybe, right? Um, Andy be dead in is, obviously, he's seen all this stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's a snake that's on the loose. And at one point, it does attack our couple. Right. And it kills them. And we're mm-hmm. like, how is the snake? But he gets a picture of his killer. Uh, just like in Jaws 2. Just like yes. in Jaws 2. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, it's found later. And like, oh, my God, the snake. Because, they're like, the, the base is radioing. Like, you know, the snake. You, oh, yeah, you got Dixon. the wrong Dick- snake. Dixon's trying. Dixon, yeah, who's took the, the wrong of, one. Yeah. 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 Well, How does this tie into the rest of the plot? This snake on the loose. That's a great question. <laughs> Don't worry, it comes together in the end. <laughs> I'm like, did the snake eat the diamonds at one point? No, I'm no, to we it out. thought no, that, that would was, happen. That was a theory. That was what I wanted it to yeah. do. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just kind of on the loose. But like, yeah. who knows about it? Only really Donna and Taryn. But they forget. Everybody forget. I forget. Every, everything yeah. that happens to them, they forget. Yeah. As soon as it's over, like, well, let's go hit the jacuzzi. Like, yep. they forget everything that, that happened. Was yes. fantastic. Yeah, they're like, they get back from like a shootout. They threw the sh- nunchuck- the shooting, star- shooting shootout. stars at a dude, 
they don't know who these people are. They're like, what? There's people on the island, and I just maybe killed one. And you know, like we gotta go think this out. And you know, what's in this? Uh, uh, yeah, we have to go study this uh, little suitcase we found in the plane. Yeah, let's go do it in the jacuzzi. And so then they're in the jacuzzi, uh, topless. You know, topless, because that's, this, this is, this the is an Andy Sidaris movie. movie. Yes. Um, so Edie's restaurant. Right is mm-hmm. a center hub for. We're gonna put. We're gonna put a pin in the snake thing. We're, we're gonna come. Yeah, back we're that. coming back to that okay. because we got to get uh, rowdy and uh, side uh, side, side braid. Side braid. Get braid there. Yep. Yeah. Into this thing, but it turns out right because uh, they need help. You know, we need to bring in the other agents. You know, because right. obviously there's an operation going on here. Got to get the team back together, Colin. Yes. That's right. That's but right. it turns out that in uh, Edie's restaurant, mm-hmm. there's a mole. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. Of, I forgot about that. There is a mole. Yeah, uh, I can't remember her name. Lonnie Anderson. <laughs> yeah, it was, I was sitting there going like, "Well, no, she's Michelle and Michael." Okay, I yes, was. Yes, right. Yes. I would. Yes. I was. I was like, I, and I seriously was thinking this. Like, if that turns out to be a robot, this <laughs> movie automatically goes up. I, like, I wish it had. I, I would have been wish, blown wish away. It had. <laughs> the bad makeup would have made sense. Yep. I, everything would have made sense if yep. it was a robot. Yep. Right. She's the bartender, but it's later revealed to be a man who's a spy for Seth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> who's been listening in on all the conversations right. and aids in the abduction of Edie, Edie mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Edie must know where the diamonds are. And so they go and they right. take her back to the torture dungeon where they string her up and then they bring in this like muscle bound like diamond. She looks like a wrestler. She does. She looks. Yeah. Yeah. We get also, a isn't solo she practicing, scene of practicing like nunchucks? Uh, under yeah. like red light in like a dungeon. Yeah. Yeah. It was a very in a dominatrix uniform. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you you know a bikini dominatrix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, she kind of looked like China a little bit. Yeah. yeah. She's definitely yeah. a bodybuilder. Mm-hmm. She beats yeah. the hell out of Edie. But our heroes have a plan. What is their plan, Colin? Uh, they're going to attack at dawn. And so, <laughs> in order we to ride that, at dawn, yeah. right? Because they know that something's up. Because uh, there's a scene where um, they're just riding down the highway. And uh, they go past a, a guy on a skateboard, but he's not any guy on a skateboard. He's skateboarding on his hands. He's the greatest skateboarder on the island. He's handstand skateboarding down a hill. Yeah. yeah. And we were impressed. I was and impressed. then he, he does it good. right up next to the Jeep and then like flips onto his feet and then hops in the back of the Jeep in like uh, one smooth move. Amateur move. And this okay, guy, no, it's actually impressive. I, like, I can't even awesome. make a joke. I was it was say, we're going awesome. outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> and you are doing it. I, I, Holly, I don't think you were exaggerating when you said he's the most talented person in this movie. He is the most movie. talented really person in this be. movie, yeah. hands down. Yeah, and he ends up He's the in, assassin from earlier. One yeah. of the assassins right. from earlier. Right, he's Shade's partner. Right, right. He, has yeah. right. Yeah. he has the mustache. He has the mustache. Yes. He's the mustache. He has the mustache. Shades and the dude who got the star on the shoulder who's still holding a shoulder an hour later. Yeah, Yeah. earring, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. But but mustache also has a blow up doll. He does. Why does he have the blow up doll? To conceal <laughs> his, to conceal his gun. There you go. <laughs> Obviously, makes sense. I don't know why work. that's funny, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if he had like a pillow or something. He's right. Just, so what he's, it's being used for makes sense. You have right. to imagine him skating down the road <laughs> now, right? on his feet this time. He's the, skateboarding on his feet. Yep, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. with the blow up doll. With the blow up doll. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a machine gun behind it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Add a car. Yeah. It makes sense. He opens fire on the car, but god damn it, oh, Rowdy my, and Side Braid. My fucking favorite scene in the movie. <laughs> <What happened? laughs> oh, How do they deal seems... with this affront? Delightful. Well, Rowdy is not a good shot unless he has a bazooka. Yeah, it's the only Obviously. way he can hit a moving target. <laughs> Obviously. Yes. So first. He nails skateboard guy with the bazooka. And he, well, he, hits, him, he hits him with the car. He hits him with the car. He Not flips him into the, the air. Shoots him in the air. And then like like he's like like he's like skeet shooting. Yes, he exactly. shoots him out of the air with the bazooka <laughs> and then proceeds to shoot the blow up doll. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get both of the clay pigeons, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is filmmaking right there. That is, uh, yes. Yeah. That is a no chill, like, we could shoot this guy, but it, no. Man, I really want to edit this movie with like better needle drops. Could you imagine if there was a really good needle drop right at, at the end of that scene? That would be wonderful, you know? Be good. Well, this is like, I mean, I guess that scene stood out to me because I'm like, wow. Wow. Like if the rest of the movie, like how do you top that? I mean, you you hit him with the car, slow motion dude coming up with the the rocket launcher and shooting him, with fiery explosions, and then shooting the 
the Amazing. doll, and then the Amazing. we see the skateboard just the skateboard kinda, just gliding uh, off into the sunset. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Without him, which I didn't think they had in him. I'm like, <laughs> this guy is like one of the greatest filmmakers of yeah. all time because he yeah. knows you have to hit him, then hit him again, yeah. then go big, and then tag. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was beautiful. And I'm like, what can he do to top that? And the thing about this is, is this scene is just kind of presented as like a throwaway. Like, yeah. Oh. yeah. Then they just like he just like they just drive off. They're like, all right, now we better get to Edie. He's like, what? Yeah, it was their side is, missions. What? <laughs> yeah, they come across obstacles that they get through quest. very easily. Yeah, <laughs> moving on to the main mission. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's just jaw dropping. It's like I wasn't I wasn't done with that. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, right. I'm Usually you save that for the the big bad at yeah. the end yeah. or something like that. Yeah. We're just gonna do it in the middle of the movie. Like, man, it's nothing. It was like, just a normal kill with a bazooka. <laughs> what? We should tell you about the rest of the movie. It's yeah, setting right. up the bazooka that's going to be used later because mm, mm. uh Boy. okay so <laughs> edie she's still captured captured, yeah. captured yep. uh rowdy has a plan yep so they're gonna they're 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 spending a quiet night at home as they're unloading all their arsenal there's uh two guys and two girls yeah yeah mm-hmm. let me show you this video in the other room yeah <laughs> yeah so is this what we were laughing at so hard? Yeah, yeah. It was. Okay. I don't. I don't remember the last time I heard Colin laugh no. this hard. Yeah, Colin yeah. didn't breathe for a minute and a half. Yeah, I, know, I was gonna die, and I can't even remember what triggered it. But it no, was something. Because, no, it was the hard cut to. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a hard cut to pleasure, which copyright yeah. 2022 Saturday Night Freak Show. It was hard cut to pleasure. Well, and the the, the, the sounds he were make, he was making were on beat with the music. Yeah. yeah. So it sounded like he was about to break into song, and that was yes. really what it did. It sounded like he was going to start singing. Yeah. But I'm not even sure exactly what was taking place right. here. Well, I mean, I have a guess, but <laughs> no, I mean, no, but like, <laughs> well, well, Colin, when a man and a woman love each other, sometimes no, they, no, 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 they, no. Then, that's then not what was happening. Need a manual. No. That was what was happening. Like, no. That's not what was happening. No. Not the way she was positioned. Yeah. No. That is not she what was happening. Him. Yeah, she's kneeling in front of him, but, but not, okay. not, but, but not, not, not that way. way. But not down far yeah, enough. Not that way. Yeah, she's not in the right position for anything. No, no. She was like face to face with him. <laughs> <laughs> it was like where you. Andy can... knows how to do this, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody get him a book, and then, uh, but it cuts to the folks in the other room like reacting to it. Yes. <laughs> And then yeah. we're like, oh, wow, that's a joke. And then it cuts back like three more times. It repeats yes, that three yeah. more times. Uh, and it's like, oh, this and is she, just amazing. And she was like, you should probably keep it down. He's like, no, I like it like this. Yeah. yeah. What? What was it's his? amazing. What? One man's dream. Oh, is another I wrote man's down. sandwich. It's another man's lunch. <laughs> lunch. One man's, One man's dream, dream is another, another man's lunch. I'm like, what the fuck? What? There's a lot of this in the movie. The other one was, the other one that I was laughing really hard at is, if brains were bird shit, you would have a clean cage. Right? Yep. 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 <sighs> And when that's we, actually good. See, that, one that, that one I understand. That one, that one I understand. But another yeah. man's yeah. lunch. Yeah. Like, I don't what? understand the other Head one. Head scratchers. Yeah. yeah. Like, wouldn't it, even if he was doing it right, wouldn't it be the other way? Or could it be the other way? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> he delivers it with such confidence yeah. that it makes sense to anybody. Yeah. And that's what's great. Yeah. The confidence is what would make you not question it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, so yeah. He knows but what he's he talking knows what about. He's about. But he's had you, lunch I'm the idiot before. here. Like, <laughs> you have this experience a lot while watching this movie where you're like, okay, that's a joke. And it's like, haha, one liner. And you're like, I don't, I don't get, get it. Get, I don't get it. <laughs> well, just like at the end, Colin, just when you think it's safe to pee. That yeah, was another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, like uh, it like I get land. that one, but it didn't land. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Um, it's like, well, yeah, she thought it was safe. Well, have but yet their code phrase is weather is great on the beach. That's all they yeah. could come up with for the code. After uh, the, Fris- the frisbee right. guy. Yeah. Death frisbee, okay, yeah. Death so their, their big plan to red at dawn is to take the death <laughs> frisbee. Yep. And apparently this henchman, who's supposed to be a bodyguard for one of the biggest like drug lords in Hawaii, he takes time out of his day every single day to play frisbee with a local girl yeah the girls find out about this when they That's, surveil him and like Aha, but he holds his machine gun in one hand right. and catches the frisbee so, with the other this so is this, how we can use so it this against local them. girl just like every day walks down the beach like oh, i'm gonna go play frisbee with my frisbee friend yeah. that has a machine gun right like, <laughs> <laughs> what once again our idea of frisbee tournament would make a lot more sense yes. i want a frisbee yeah. tournament it yeah. makes That's so good. much more That's sense because she walked up on him one day doing trick shots really intensely with a frisbee. <laughs> right. Like, 
fuck, like <laughs> practicing his art form with it. And like, he, yeah. she surprised him. And he's like, oh, wait. And she's like, oh, sorry. I'm making up a whole story. Oh, in my okay. Mind. okay. <laughs> like, I noticed you play Frisbee. I do too. Play? So that's just and that's their it. thing. Every and that day. was yeah. six months ago. And yeah. then they've been doing it ever since. Every day. And so we can sneak the spies in there to actually like kill this guy. So yeah. then they've like they've got the beach. So then Donna comes parasailing in and she's yeah. gonna drop bombs on what bombs? What kind of bombs? Noise, noise bombs. grenades. Noise noise, noise grenades. grenades. Yes. Yep. Noise Which grenades. we determined were regular just grenades, regular grenades. grenades. Just for a distraction. So she's dive bombing yeah. Seth's with, compound. With possibly the the greatest shot in the whole movie. Oh yeah. The Jeep with the paraglider yes. crossing yeah. over at the crossing same time. Yeah. Which That's we know excellent. they did at least yeah. more than once because the outtake is in the end yeah. credits. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. The, only, money shots the only thing the that took away from it was the crew member we saw in the background. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the red shirt, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise spectacular. <laughs> so they basically just ride up on this place at dawn and open yeah. fire. Yeah. And they're gonna find Edie and rescue her. Yeah. Yep. Um, it, there's uh, a dramatic uh, sh- shootout in the front lawn. There is. He is not a very good shot. Mm-hmm. It's very. Uh, Sean pointed out that it's it's like when you're you know nine and ten years old playing guns oh, yeah. in your backyard. It feels you, just you like jump that. off yes. the swing set and do a do a <laughs> roll. Cover right. me, I'm Cover going me. In. Yeah, yeah. Like you've, got, you've, got, you've, got, you've got squirt guns. There's nothing happening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly that's what, exactly what it was. But maybe I think that's maybe the joy these people yeah, go into yeah, this yeah, movie yeah, with, yeah, and yeah. I think that's the fun they bring to it. Like I it, it so. literally took me back. I was like, I miss playing guns. Then everybody, yeah, because I have those guns. they're trading shots. Like, oh yeah, back and forth, one after the other. Yeah, it was like the it's like the Civil War. I shot. Like I shot. You shot. Yeah. Back and forth. And yeah. what's his name? Doesn't hit a damn thing. No. I mean, he's he a terrible shot. He doesn't hit the guy. Yeah. And so uh, Sidebraid tells himself, it's like, you're a horrible shot. Yeah. yeah. But they get inside, and then Sidebraid has his own because, God damn it, we set up that he's a martial arts master. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so he gets to, to have a martial arts fight with a uh, martial artist. There's sumo wrestlers in this movie. Just, We're just going to jump past that. Oh, okay. yeah. We got to go past. Uh, so I love that there's. He, he's yeah. decided we gotta there keep there going. We got to keep will going. There will never be a boring conversation scene because I will put something else in there. <laughs> Boobs or sumo wrestlers. Something will be in yep. there to entertain you while this yep. is going. Yep. On. I forgot yeah. about that. That is his decision. They make no difference to this movie. So nope. we have to keep going. Yep. 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 Um, so in the, in the climax, right? So uh, they do. I really wanted this to be a better Kung Fu scene. I was, I, I was, know. I was hoping for it. There's yeah. a better one. Teased Savage. with nunchucks. I know. Yeah. Mm. Savage beach has Al Leong in it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so that's yeah, the one yeah. I want. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so they rescue <laughs> Edie. Yep. Yeah. Which I think is the whole point of this, right? Is like somehow mm-hmm. the bad guys think she knows where the diamond is, even mm-hmm. though she doesn't. Right. Only Taryn knows, but right. nobody can fucking remember this. So, like, okay. Right. And so they rescue her, and then they head out, and they get there. There's, like, a woman who I'm not even sure who it was firing at them. Oh, I know who She it was. was the one from the restaurant earlier. Yeah, she yep. was the henchman. There were the two, the dude and the, with the. Yeah, when they came with the nylons over their yes. head, she was the other one, yeah. Right. They oh, get in a helicopter yeah. okay. and take off, and so, right. God damn it, yep. we're going to see the return of that rocket launcher. Yeah. Fucking rocket launch that helicopter out of the yes. sky. And then they take off in a van. End of the yep. movie. End of the movie. But no. No. Because <laughs> we forgot about the snake and they, the diamonds. They forgot about the bad guy. And the, yeah. the, the they literally go, the wait, boat magician. We forgot yeah. about Seth. <laughs> yeah. Breaks on the van. And then what happens? A team out of the van. A team out of the van. He launches out of the van on a dirt bike to Rowdy. go get Rowdy yeah. does to go yeah. get Seth. Yeah, yep. it's great because we were in the van a minute ago. Right. I don't remember seeing a dirt bike, but goddamn it, comes <laughs> right? the back of that van. there wasn't. I swear, there to God. wasn't. And then we're like, "Where is, the hell is he going?" This okay. is very confusing. Okay. Yes, they are all together in the van. And all they're four like, of them. and they're like, "Oh, that's so great. That's over. Like, right. the, the hero's journey is complete." Yeah. Right. And so when Rowdy takes off, he takes off to go get Seth, presumably. Yep. But then the next, so he busts out and goes off. But then we're with. Yeah, they continue. Donna. They continue on to Donna and Taryn's house. Yes, yeah. where they're supposed to go. Yes, which is where Seth ends up. He's laying in wait. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then there's a big bloody attack because basically Whoa. Donna is able to stab him and what else? She is shoots she? him with a with a um, spear gun. Yeah. yeah, because he attacks her all Michael Myers like in the yeah. in the closet. He stabs a closet for a long time. Long time. And we're then we cut away and we see like. Rowdy on his bike riding, and we're like, "Where in the fuck is he going?" Yeah, because yeah. he's going back to get Seth, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is at her house after t- whatever, yeah, which is where he whatever. ends up anyway. Yeah, it's very confusing. 
And so we think that Seth is dead. He's stabbed. He's all bleeding all over the place. But God damn it. She, she goes to the bathroom to, to clean herself up. Yeah. And it's a very long scene it's by the toilet. Scene. Like, you don't really see a lot of this where she's wiping blood off of her face, like a lot. Mm-hmm. And she, like, she yeah, like cleaning into the a, sweat off right, of her chest. Sweating. She, like, oh. hacks into a tissue and, <laughs> and then, then wipes rubs her it face on herself. <laughs> yeah. And then she opens the toilet lid and she puts the dirty, uh, like, uh, toilet paper she goes in to flush there. it. And then the toilet explodes. Yes. A fucking snake like jumps out of this <laughs> fucking thing. There's like, like fire and sparks. Yeah. There's a light yeah. coming out of this There's toilet. There's dynamite in that toilet. Yes. As the snake comes through. It was fan glorious. Because the snake is in the middle of combusting because it's been almost 36 hours. Right. Yeah. Yes, this is why. Yep. So it busts out. And then... Uh, it bites somehow, somebody, doesn't it? Well, yeah, she because she gives Seth, who's not dead, not dead. Yep. He's still he pulls the dagger out of him, and he's like, he's gonna, even though he's like been stabbed a yeah. bunch of times, and yeah. he's bleeding to death, but he's still alive. Yeah. And he's coming for, her, and she gives him a slip by coming out right in yeah. front of him, jumping across the bed, yeah. behind, behind. So it. she's all quiet, and he right. hears rustling from the bathroom, thinking <laughs> it's her. Yeah, so he goes in there. Yeah. <sighs> Snake attack right in the face. It takes On the opposite, because he's already been shot in the face. This is the opposite side of the face. Oh, yeah. Yep. Did we say that she shot him in the shot face? Shot him in the face. Yeah. Right. But then they said he just got grazed by it later. Yeah. They tried to, so yeah. now the snake takes a chunk out of his cheek. Yeah. It's amazing. Injects him with venom. And then we're like, oh, man, he's totally dead now. Yep. So now the snake is going to menace Donna. And we're like, oh, no, Donna, get out of there. Do something. Oh, no. She shoots it twice. I think she shoots his fangs out. Yeah, she yeah. shoots yeah. it twice in the she mouth. She shoots it twice in the mouth and shoots but its large fangs you out. You can't fucking put down no, the snake. No, it's, it's super a, snake at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's a giant killer, toxin infested snake. Yep. It, it, nothing's going to stop it. Contaminated. Yep. That's right. Shot Until. Fake, doesn't matter. All of a sudden, Rowdy comes in on his fucking dirt bike through, yep. the, through the fucking wall. Yeah. Yep. The fucking wall explodes. He's in there. He comes in like the Kool Aid Man. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Yeah. It's pretty great. He then shoots Seth out of the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, he bazookas him out. Yeah, Yeah, he bazookas him out of the window of the bathroom. Seth is gone. And then the snake goes. Don't we see Seth's body fall like 15 stories? No, no, that's later. That's later. That's later. That's right. That's right. We don't. (laughs) Right. That's later. (laughs) No, he's blown up out of the bathroom. (laughs) Yep. And then the snake is doing its one last menacing hiss as Rowdy launches from a distance of three feet, (laughs) I would say. Launches a, a bazooka launcher. rocket into the snake's head and, and blows explodes. it up. Yep. Oh man, you have never seen that anything is, like it. Thank before God in that's over. Life. Yeah, we're oh. like, Hoof. everybody's. It's, nobody, we haven't forgotten about anyone, right? <laughs> Everyone's taken care of. I know this movie is checking off the boxes because <laughs> yeah. it's like it has weaved a plot of like uh, there's dozens of characters that's bringing it all down. Yeah, because yeah. there's still Mr. Chen is yes. still boat like, magician. Right yep. on his uh, penthouse, yep. uh, you know where he's With overseeing his all this stuff. Cracking henchman. That's yep. what he's doing right. the whole movie. Yeah, yep. the whole time. Finally, this dude who we've been watching in the background, menacing the camera, uh, <laughs> he finally gets his moment to like be a henchman and be a bodyguard. Right, he's a big dude. He's a huge dude. Yeah, and they, and they beat the beat fuck the out of him. With they the murder. Him. They they pretty much they murder him right there. Like he doesn't. He doesn't. Fight back he doesn't fight back. He's the worst yeah. henchman of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible bodyguard. And this is when they use the nunchucks just held together like a club. Yeah, yeah just they just use like a billy nunchuck. club. They don't yeah. even like... That's because nobody knows yeah. how to use them. But it takes... Well, that uh, yeah, the dominatrix... She did, she but knew she did Yeah, yeah. Um, like, how hard would it have been to give them one lesson... Just right. to get something on yeah. yeah. screen. You don't yeah. want to hit yeah. yourself with nunchucks. They're deadly. That's why they banned them everywhere. True. <laughs> that's, that's pathetic. No. <clears throat> and so, I can't even remember who comes in... Does uh, Donna, side braid? Donna and Rowdy. No, it's Don- the side braid and the rest of them are downstairs. Donna and Rowdy are the ones who go up. Yeah. And then uh, they Ch- Mr. With- Chen. Yeah. After yeah, they- the bodyguard, yeah. he takes a samurai sword off the wall yep. and he's like going to attack gonna him. He's going to throw it at him. And, he's, and, and Rowdy's like, you brought a knife to a gunfight. And he pulls out his gun. And then Donna pulls out her like massive 357 Magnum yep. and shoots that fucker out the window. And yes, he goes That's flying. He yeah. He, fl- he sl- his body, which is, you know, I mean, this is low budget as fuck. Yeah. So it's, you know, some uh, like doll, some dummy. Yeah. you know, uh, careening down the uh, down the side of the building and splats in front of the other uh, uh, gathered folks, which for some reason. Uh, Joshua Jackson. Jimmy, what's it? Jimmy, Jimmy John, John Jackson. Jackson. Oh yeah, he's is there. Now. Yeah, they've they've coupled up. 
side yeah. braids with Edie and uh, Jimmy John Jackson's with uh, Taryn. Taryn, because they had a the other two. thing yeah. earlier that we totally skipped over, yeah. which, yeah, yeah. okay. Right. Yep. Where yep. they basically got topless and kissed for a while. Right, because yeah. everyone has to show their boobs. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Um, this might be the greatest movie ever. <laughs> I, I do have faith in cinema again now. Yeah. You know? oh, that you can be entertained. Uh, did they hit the credits then? Okay, first, Wait, just, first of all, we need to talk about credits. credits. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of credits, the opening credits of this movie inspired, I would say, it's a very slow uh, shipping montage, but on all the crates are uh, the, the credits. Cast? Yeah, the cast credits. and credits yeah. for the whole movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is. In the movie. In the yeah. movie. It's, it's just they flip boxes yeah. over right. and there's right. their names written Which on them. Which you don't ever see anymore. Yeah. I love that. I it love was it. good. The music yeah. was I like was a surprised. sitcom. Sitcom music everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the end credits, we've got hard ticket playing and we've got a flashback to each topless scene. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. But what's our last shot of the movie, Hallie? Uh, the credits even, I guess I should say. The last shot of the credits. Oh, yeah. <gasps> <laughs> down to the last second this movie yeah. <laughs> it's a cat sitting on a crate with his yeah. paw hanging his down fucking, his, fucking angry his paws, and, yeah. and his paws like hanging down next to the hard ticket to Hawaii then, yep. yeah it goes down hard perfect. to Hawaii <laughs> and Andy Sidar's <laughs> film <laughs> over yeah. and we're done yeah. perfect perfection <laughs> yes <sighs> I'm, yeah, I don't I'm, know what else to say. Yeah, I know. I'm it. surprised oh, we made it through it in an hour. And the stuff that we have forgotten. I know. We can, uh, yeah, we can't we're, even tell you. We're going to be messaging each other all week being like, oh, fuck, oh we man. forgot to talk yeah. about this. We forgot to yep. talk about that. Yep. Uh, so uh. right into the mailbag so we can continue to talk about the yeah. things we missed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys yeah. forgot about this scene. Like, Please you're tell right. us what we forgot. We, did. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, probably we did. did. We either yeah. forgot or didn't have time. Yeah. yeah. This is a movie overload. Okay, so we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of it and whether we would recommend it. Because this is where, I mean, you don't know how this is going to shake out, right? This no, It sounds might. like we're all very high on this, but, uh, you know, this could all go bad. You don't know. That's why you got to stick with us past the mailbag section where we're going to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to need the help of our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. I, I don't know. I, what, I, don't yeah, have I got nothing. To, yeah. uh, no, I got nothing. For <laughs> I was Igor. searching, searching, <laughs> scrolling through this movie, and I was like, My I, brain is... I can't. There's too much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's way too I much. I can't handle the world. And something this about movie. something about toxins, snake, Igor. Yeah. You, yeah. you guys I do. You guys bazooka. put it together. He comes out of the toilet sometimes. I don't know. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, so we want to remind you at home how you can participate yourself in this interactive portion of our show by following along with us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Sat Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. You can email us. Saturday Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can find us on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Um, I want to let you know that uh, MF Mad, ah. the uh, yes. keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. Wall Thank Watchmen. You, yep. We've added somebody to the, well, let's say the hallway. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. okay. This okay. is actor Peter Romolo, who was uh, Mr. Chang uh, big in, uh, yep, 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 yep. in Hard Ticket to Hawaii. He was also the judge in Breakin'. What? Which, yep. Oh, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He was a nobleman in The Rocketeer. Wow. There you go. Hallway. What okay. a resume. Hallway, yeah. Hallway yeah, fame. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, about Hard Ticket to Hawaii, Karate Warrior 2 writes in and says, so much hot 80s hair in this random as fuck teenage fever dream of a movie, Ron Moss 2. I swear this movie feels like someone took their favorite 80s action comedy babe tapes and threw them in a mental blender. <laughs> One super fast contaminated snake Polaroids out of five. <laughs> Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. One yeah. out of five. Dom. Ouch. Yeah. Dom. Yeah, that's. Well, Dom says, my challenge to you guys is everyone choose one of your favorite movies, put it in a mental blender, and see what hard ticket you guys come up <laughs> with. I mean, we already started on our Frisbee tournament version of this movie. We so, did. I mean, yeah. that's, that's, that's where we yeah. have to go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's where we go. That's the sequel. Yeah. So, you know how in Breaking it was like, at first they were just kind of trying to get a break dancing group, and then the second one, they're saving the community center. Yeah. This is like, we have the hard ticket to Hawaii, too, of now there's a okay. Frisbee tournament. Okay. Yeah. And we'll add it to whatever title I copyrighted earlier. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You got to go back and look at that one. No, up. Yeah. no, Sean, it's hard ticket to. to- oh, oh, yes. 
Why didn't Andy Sedaris do that himself? It's right there. It's right there. Right there. Right there. Oh, my God. You could just call it Hard Ticket, too. I know. Yeah, Yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's it. (sighs) Hard Ticket, too. Adam Kaler writes in and says, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, the best film in the Andy Sedaris cinematic universe. If the Avengers were based out of Hawaii, they, too, (laughs) might be fighting against the pure evil of the Supreme Toilet Snake. (laughs) He says, when your movie seems like a mission in Saints Row, your stakes might be too low. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Travis Legler says, well, Paste Magazine named the film the best B movie of all time. Wow. So it can be a fun turn your brain off kind of movie, but I lean more towards Escape from L.A., Commando, or my personal favorite B movie of all time, Maximum Overdrive, Hmm. when looking for over-the-top violence, cheesy dialogue, unintentional humor, and overall absurdity. But I hope this film was a fun time for you all. Yeah, I think this one was on all of our lists. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Yeah. it's been on our list for a while. Mine too. Yeah. Michael Whitaker says, is this the one with the razor blade frisbee? It sure is. <laughs> this is apparently one in Andy Sidaris's triple B series, but clearly yeah. it's more of a triple D. Oh, mm. I see what you did there. Mm. He says, all right, that's the best joke I got. I'll see yeah. you later. <laughs> All right, good. You know, sometimes that you man, should know when to exit, right? <laughs> I like it. That like man it. knows when to cut to crap. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, he yeah. actually had the instruction hold for laughter. I, oh. just, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. um, I like stage directions. Yeah, uh, that was a good one. <laughs> last week, we watched a movie called Brain Damage, and Pat Hetfield right. write, wrote in and said, You had me at Henenlotter. Yep. I can't wait to find out what you guys and you gals made out of this. He has an even freakier movie out, that being his last one, Bad Biology. I dare you. All of you know, oh, I'm afraid I can't make it this week to watch that. <laughs> As usual, sending you much love and thanks. Stay safe and stay cool. Oh, thank thanks. You. I mean, I hear Hen and Liner, I'm like, I'm listening. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. that's how I feel about I think it. We, I think we need to space it out a couple months. Yeah. 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 And then revisit. We yeah. did talk about it a little bit on yep. last week's episode, which I'm sure you've heard by now, Pat. Uh, <laughs> the previous week, we watched a movie called The Color Out of Space. Mm. Action Dude. Not we're, actually, we're, my we're waiting, guy. Yeah, yeah, we're waiting to hear your thoughts on Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Right. Yeah. This is yeah. Like, yeah. Based on names alone, this is your movie. <laughs> it says uh, Color Out of Space is a visually stunning spectacle, just like when a six year old shoves half an orange crayola up one nostril just to break up the monotony. And Tommy <laughs> Chong played a stoned hippie? That's a stretch in credibility. We, I think we killed Michaela. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the crayon comment at all. <laughs> Man, this day's boring. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, the week before that, we watched, I think it was a week before, I'm not sure. We watched Phantasm 2 at some point. Uh, Talks like so long ago. ago. Yeah. (laughs) Was Prince of Darkness? Okay. Uh, Phantasm 2 talks spooky to me, writes in and says, If you were to do a Phantasm remake, who would you cast in all four parts? Go. (gasps) (laughs) Michaela. Oh, Michaela, you want to take this? Anthony Hopkins is a tall man. Yeah, that would be pretty good. He's not good. tall, though. Or no, I um, like it. Doug Jones. I would say Doug Jones is the tall man. Oh, yeah, is who I would pick. Yeah, but I, ooh, I like Anthony Hopkins going, boy! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. true. I don't know if Doug uh, Jones... He's got the look, but I don't know if he's got the voice. Bruce Campbell is Reggie. Yeah. Two on, oh, two on the nose. I mean, we don't, I feel like we don't have like a modern-day Bruce Campbell right now, so I don't. that would be a tough one to cast, I mm. think. Chris yeah. Pine is Reggie. Just shave his head and give me no, balling. No, no. <laughs> Uh, Sean, that's the problem with Hollywood is that <laughs> no one can be ugly anymore. So Everyone so has sorry. to be a model. All we right, need an right, average right. looking person. You're right. I don't, I'm not, I'll have to think about this and come yeah, back yeah, to yeah, it next week. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet has. No, uh, no, 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 uh, no. Right. <laughs> oh. uh, what's his name from Breaking Bad? Uh, Aaron, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his name? Aaron Dean Norris. Oh, Dean Norris, who plays the, uh, you know. The mm-hmm. agent, Hank Schrader. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, yep. shit. For yeah. who? Reggie. Reggie. Okay. Reggie. Yep. Yeah. You're or just going to like, people who are, are bald? You, are you, well, yeah, kind of. But no, I like... <laughs> he's Reggie's Patrick brother. Is, okay. Like Reggie's long lost brother that comes in. It's a remake. Like, it's okay. a legacy sequel. The, 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 thing with, <laughs> <laughs> the thing with Reggie is they have to be really charming, right? Like, you yeah. have to have a really charming actor in that role. All right, we got to think about this. Yeah, we need we, to find we'll, a young, bald... We'll he's got to be bald. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can shave your head, Jim. Yeah. You can be yeah. done. Or a bald cap is also an option. Or wait 10 right. years? Okay. <laughs> all right. So... <clears throat> Thank you for indulging us, all of you who have written in. We really appreciate it every week. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, (laughs) starting with... Holly. Mm. What Mm. do you think about... How did you feel about your hard ticket to Hawaii? Was it hard enough? 
Was it Hawaii enough? <laughs> was it two enough? <laughs> um, I think it was two enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is the dumbest goddamn movie we've watched in a while, and fucking hell, I loved every second of it. It was it. We'd been talking about this movie for a while. We've heard about this movie for a while. People bring it up a lot. There is a reason for that. Mm. This was absolutely spectacular. It gave me so much more than I thought it was going to. It's the movie that keeps on giving. (laughs) It really is. Yeah. For the next Um, few days, it's going to keep giving us a lot more. When you're wondering, like, what's the hard ticket? That's the hard. It keeps (laughs) giving. (laughs) It doesn't stop. Stamina. That's what this movie has. Cut to stamina. (laughs) You know what? There it is. (laughs) This movie has stamina. You want a movie with stamina? You got it. It's hard to get to Hawaii. Yes, you should watch it. That's it. Michaela. I'm a little sad because I feel like as... Because you can never have this experience again. Well, I think I've peaked as a movie viewer, right? <laughs> like, I wow. think I think it's all downhill after this. I think this is like, <laughs> nothing is ever going to be as good or as exciting as this movie, right? Like, it's it's like, oh, shit, that, I, I had the best, and I can't go back. So, so once you've tasted I, filet mignon, yeah. it's hard to go back to anything else. So, like, I, I guess this is a, a sliding door moment in my life right you know like my life is gonna be different now that i've seen right this. yeah if you want you know? this is your reign of fire scale <laughs> yeah the hard oh, no. tickets are white scale oh, no. <laughs> like better or worse there, than hard dragon. Dragon. Yes. like there's a parallel universe version of me that just split off right now that's never seen this <laughs> and it will probably enjoy movies more throughout my life now <laughs> oh, than right. i'm okay. going to because I'm now kidding. you are a better more enriched person <laughs> because of hard tickets i wine. think yeah yeah but but the parallel version of me is having a better cinematic experience right. you know what i'm saying they're because they're going to be able to enjoy things more than right. I'm going well, to that now. person would be enriched by watching movies over the years. Yeah. You got it all at once yes. in this movie. I, I did, yeah, it's like like I was saying, that B12 shot to the brain. I did that for like <laughs> cinematic viewing now, too. Like, I, I just... Like, I mean, Miami Connection is a pretty high bar. You know, yeah. Samurai, Samurai yes. Cop is a pretty high bar yeah. for weird, weird, low-budget, like, visionist 80s shit we watch. Yeah. But I'm never bored with it. I'm always excited by it. Yes. And somehow they always manage to top each other. They do. I don't know how, they and do. I don't know when it's gonna stop. But <laughs> yeah. I'm 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 Can't ready stop, to watch stop. <laughs> I'm ready to watch the next eleven of his movies. I know. So, um, Kayla, I've got one in the pipe. <laughs> That is going to kill all. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you've built up so much goodwill with this movie. Don't undo okay, it all. Okay, yeah. all, right, all right. Don't yeah. fuck it up. Yeah. 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 So I you mean, started off the year right. You, what else can I say? You got to see it yeah. and create that you parallel gotta. timeline right now for yourself, viewers, and go watch Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Colin, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, there's some people out there who have uh, obviously seen Hard Ticket to Hawaii <laughs> and before. And there's some people who don't enjoy life, is yeah. what you're saying. <laughs> well, no, the, the, there's the one who's seen it before who yes. are, are listening to this show and like, oh, yeah, I remember all those <laughs> moments. And then there's like people who are listening to this and going like, what in the holy fuck? <laughs> like, you guys are insane. And now you got to see this movie. Yes. And then there's the folks who, the, I like the ones who uh, they play along at home. Like, we watch yeah. a movie, and so they're going to watch yeah. it, and we're going to hear the experiences. <laughs> Uh, on yes. next week's episode. Oh, that's going to be good. <laughs> I, I don't know how this movie would play by yourself, but as a group, this yeah. is a group movie. Yes, like this absolutely. movie, uh, you know, it's it, it's almost kind of a shame that I think probably most people did see it on video or right. uh, a cable. This got a 4K restoration. It looks great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think they cleaned them all up. Uh, you know, you were saying the, the other 11 movies, um, uh, um, Mill Creek, I think, put out a set of okay. all the Andy Sedaris <laughs> movies, like the girls' guns, and there's another G, but it should have been the three B, the right, triple Bs. Yeah, yeah. Um, he may have that kind of copyright. I think Who it's knows? girls' guns and G strings, isn't it? It Is might be. It? I think okay. so. Yeah, the Andy I know Sedaris that title. collection yeah. or something like that. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm curious to see more of them, but what I'm afraid of is that we've peaked. I've seen yeah. three of them. I and, understand, Colin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and. Uh, so I, I don't know. Like I said, Savage Beach is is fun. Uh, I liked uh, um, um, Malibu Express a lot, but I'm like, am I going to keep going with this? Am I going to see you know Picasso Trigger and Fit to Kill and Lethal Ladies and, and guns. Savage Beach too? <laughs> yeah, and guns. I, that's only like five. There's like yeah. a whole bunch more. Um, I appreciate uh, Andy Sidaris uh, for doing this kind of you know like okay, well fine. You know, it's like he didn't necessarily. Um, stake out territory and like he's the only guy out there doing it right you know but i think like his 
his thing is, you know, it's like, man, there's there's all these cool. I, I love these like remote control cars or remote control, you know, uh, uh, helicopters and whatever. And like, let's put them in the movie. You know, it's like <laughs> things explode. Like, what kind of guns can we use? What kind of nunchucks? It's just because it's cool. There yeah. is a kind of refreshing it's like childlike it, wonder. Yeah, right. <laughs> that I guess comes off and is like contagious with this movie. There's a lack of cynicism, I think, about yes. like because maybe when you're watching this now, like I think, like even Michaela said, like when when the movie started and you see Donna Spear and uh, Holly Marie Carlton getting it, it's like they're dressed up like they're in a porn parody of a movie. But this movie doesn't know that, right? Right. This right. movie is earnest. It's right. actually like no, we're just you know. There's scenes where they're like together in their room and it's like, okay, I know this is going to go to the hot tub scene. And like, no, they're just like talking about yeah. like the, they're having, the they're plot. having a serious conversation about stolen diamonds without tops on. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I mean, it's because uh, Andy Harson knows entertainment. <laughs> yeah, spy uh, talk in a jacuzzi, obviously. You know, the other thing that occurred to me while we were watching this movie, uh, because of the constant James Bond references, it was like. And I think this goes back to what I was saying before. It's like the characters in this are not, you know, like bim they're not air -head airheaded bimbos, yes. right? Thank God. Um it plays better that way. But but I'm saying, you know, it's like, well, they sound like airheaded bimbos because of the lines that they're given. And mm -hmm. the, you know, it's like everybody in an Andy Sidaris movie, maybe a little less in this one than 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 some of the other ones, seems very self conscious when in front of the camera. Like they're we're, we're acting. Here's the lines that we have to give. Yeah, they're not you know? the greatest. Mm -hmm. And so we're saying this is a bad movie, but when you put Denise Richards as a nuclear scientist in a James Bond movie, it feels like I don't believe that right. at all. If you put Denise Richards as a nuclear scientist in an Andy Sidaris movie, it would be totally like, oh, yep, yep. that's I absolutely believe it. But she, know, would so. she would also be like a world class ninja and yeah, a detective yeah, yeah, yeah. and so, everything. What right. you're saying is James Bond put her in a James Bond movie as an ode. To Andy Sidaris. <laughs> it, it feels like they were trying That's to capitalize on, yeah. on, move in on Andy's territory, you know? There you go. <laughs> if nothing else, a little nod of the cap to someone who was obviously such a big fan. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to recommend this movie. Uh, I think it's just batshit crazy. I'd slap you if you did. <laughs> and uh, it, there's a lot to enjoy. It's hilarious as hell. Like, it's, uh, yeah, I Again, did. Again, never heard Colin Something laugh so caught yeah. me off guard. Something got him. Yeah, and uh, I laughed so I couldn't breathe. So, uh, Sean, what do you think of Hard Ticket? You got to sing it. No, I can't. Hard I can't. Ticket. To Hawaii. There's a there's a, a pitch that I can't get that I wish I could. I will practice it. I will tell you that. I will go home and practice. <laughs> um, hard ticket to Hawaii. Uh, I mean, I'm exhausted, but out of joy. <laughs> yes, yes. Like yes. Um, it. What I like about this movie is it feels like everyone's doing it for the same reason. Mm. Where they're all on board for this movie i don't feel like i don't know anything about the behind the scenes of andy sadaris making movies and what have you but it feels like everyone's pretty much above board for this mm -hmm. like everyone knows exactly what they're doing exactly the movie they're making mm -hmm. and exactly what they're putting out there and they did it so fucking entertainingly well uh you have to watch this movie it is one of the greatest b movies to ever be made i know mm -hmm. i haven't seen all the b movies but my god we've seen a lot we've seen a lot yeah and this is fucking awesome i mean it's just everything we said for the past hour and a half you have yeah. to watch this movie it's great um i bought this movie uh blind, blind by for tonight <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, i figured everyone says this is the best one of the andy sidaris uh of his movies i figured this would be the one to own and uh, i do not regret it for one second <laughs> so um yeah watch hard ticket to hawaii uh, free show stamp of brutal. Mm -hmm. You have that means is. you have to watch it. You gotta watch it. <laughs> so so good. Like and we there's so much we didn't. Please listener. write in and tell us what yeah, we missed. Watch so it. We tell us what we missed because there's like so much. Like we said, much. we glossed over sumos. There were sumos in this. Yeah, I, I was, can't even. <laughs> yeah. So much going on. Woo. <laughs> yeah. It's mm. a it's a meal, and it, you're just sitting there. It's, like, it's a meal, but it was somebody else's dream beforehand. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of times when we were watching it, sitting there going like, "I have no idea what's going on yep. right now. Oh, I yeah. don't know why they're here or what yeah. they're." Oh <laughs> shit, that's right because it's the yeah, yeah. it's just yep. yeah, and then yeah. it surprises you and comes back around. Yeah. And you're like, oh yeah, but, but that is that is an Andy Sadar like his movies feel like that. All of the <laughs> all the other ones you're gonna yeah. see are gonna be because you're all gonna go and watch. You know, oh yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, I mean I'm curious too, but it takes something 
out of yeah, you. Yeah, it's exhausting. Like, it is yeah. exhausting to get through, but in the best way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like I got a lot of bang for my buck yeah. tonight. Right. Which should have been the tagline for the <laughs> thing, but, but pay the price for paradise is good enough. I'd there say. you go. That's, solid. That's pretty good. Well, Holly has a lot to uh, live up to next week because she's mm, picking yeah. next so, week's movie. Tough act to follow. I know. I was like, shit. I just... <laughs> well, Holly, what are we watching next we're gonna, week? We're going to give it a shot. Um... We're going to go to space again, because you know I love going to space. Uh -oh. oh, boy. Are we getting a Moonfold? Are we in Moonfold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Holly's like, we're taking a field trip to see Moonfold. Close. We're watching Space Truckers. Space oh, Truckers. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's a Stuart Gordon this movie. Is, sure with, is. Yeah, Dennis Hopper. I, I think this has been on my list for like eight <laughs> years. Yeah. With that title? Yeah, space I know. Truckers. I just, yeah. Space I just truckers. haven't gotten to yeah. it. But Space Truckers. Here we All go. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's and that's Steven Dorff. Right? Is yeah, it, it is yeah. Stephen Dorff. What's okay. her name? Um, oh, I can't remember. I saw this you a know, long, time, long time, ago. time ago. I saw uh, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. We'll Space get into it. Truckers is next week on the Saturday Night Free Show. We hope you'll join us. And until then, the basement is going dark. No, the basement's going to Hawaii.